it plagues almost every singer in the beginning. You wanna hit those amazing high notes, but you either just yell your face off trying to get there, or disconnect to like a wimpy falsetto sound. I should know, years ago I struggled with this exact same thing. That was until I discovered three crazy but incredibly effective exercises to help you hit those high notes every time. Ooh, let's go. The struggle was very real to me. <laughs> 12 years ago, I'm living in San Francisco. I just quit my career in advertising and for the first time, I'm singing and writing songs every day. I'm singing in every bar, coffee shop, and train station I can find. I was doing that because I wanted to kill my fear of performing live. Because literally every time I would get on the stage, my hands would shake like crazy and my voice would just wobble and break anytime I went to a high note. But I figure, hey, if I play in front of enough people, that crippling fear will just go away. There's just one problem. <laughs> there is no actual technique in my singing. I'm starting to flex my songwriting muscles for the first time, but all my vocal heroes are Tom York, Jeff Buckley, Elliot Smith, all guys that sing incredibly high. So obviously the songs that I'm writing all have high notes in them. Now, even though I'm not aware of it, my vocal range is incredibly limited at the time. And every time I go up to a high note, my voice just cracks and breaks. One particular song I've just written is called Don't Go. Now, I don't know how I missed it at the time, but what I don't realize is that I've written a song whose chorus is almost completely all high notes. Don't go! sustaining on a G, what was I thinking? Sure, when I'm recording the demo in my walk-in closet, I can just kind of whisper out the notes. And the nice microphone will still capture what it is that I'm singing. But now that I'm playing in the train stations, I run into a big problem. Because I have to project to use my voice, I ended up just using all this extra muscle and basically just yell to those higher notes. And of course, that just makes my voice break and strain more. At first, I tell myself that this kind of makes the, the high notes sound more emotional and soulful. After all, all my favorite singers, you know, have that really strainy, like bunched up, painful look on their faces when they go up to sing high notes, right? But judging from the looks of the people that are passing by me in the train station, I'm not so sure. And I've been watching a lot of live concert footage of singers like Freddie Mercury Mercury that just like looks like he's just belting his face off and his voice sounds amazing. I'm convinced that he sounds that great because he's just pushing more than I am. He's just learned how to like use more muscle. That seems simple enough, right? I just need to push a little bit more, add a little more pressure. So one particular night I'm playing at the train station and during the chorus of this song, I decide that I'm just going to really, really go for that note. I'm really just gonna push everything that I have at it. I go to sing the chorus of the song and I feel like all the muscles in my neck get tight and my mouth gets really, really wide. <sighs> and then my voice breaks and shatters into a million pieces. All of a sudden, the people that are passing by me in the train station are looking in my general direction, but they look terrified. And that's a little surprising because most of the time, if people don't like you, they'll just keep walking past. They won't even acknowledge you. But these people seem genuinely terrified. It's at that moment that I see out of the corner of my eye that there's a homeless guy that is about to throw a can of beer at me. Luckily, his aim was off and I was able to just kind of dodge the beer can and he just walked off. It's at this very moment that I decide it's time to take some dang voice lessons. I ask around and I'm able to find a voice teacher in the Bay Area pretty quickly. Based on a recommendation from a friend, I go and take a lesson, and really quickly the teacher's just asking me about what my goals are, what I'm looking to accomplish with my singing. So I tell him what happened in the train station, and basically that I need to learn how to hit those higher notes without just straining and just pushing everything in my body. Really quickly, he has me sing the part of the chorus in that song that's breaking. And just like in the subway, my voice breaks and strains. Don't call me. But rather than correcting me, he says, nice job. That's when he says the words that would change my life. It's like you have two different voices inside of you. Rather than pushing up and yelling to those notes or just singing them in falsetto, I wanna help you find a middle ground in your voice. Right now, those notes in the song are right in between the bottom and the top parts of your voice. We call that the chest voice. Ah. And the head voice. Ah. So if you're able to blend those two areas together, you'll be able to hit those same notes without straining, but still keep them sounding powerful. 
At this point, I am super confused. I mean, I've never heard the terms chest voice and head voice before. I just know that this guy's asking me to do some crazy exercises. First, he asked me to do the octave and a half lip trill. <laughs> The teacher tells me, hey, this octave and a half lip trill, it's a really crazy exercise, but it's really, really helpful in helping you keep the vocal cords vibrating evenly from the bottom to the top part of your voice. And that takes a lot of pressure off. I mean, basically it's really difficult to yell through a lip trill. Next, he tells me that he wants to go up to those same notes, but this time we need to actually open our mouths like we're really singing. Obviously you can't do the lip trill on stage. So next he gives me an octave repeat no like I'm saying the word note, and he wants me to kind of sob it like I'm a little kid that's really sad. No, 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 no. As soon as I do this exercise, I can hear that my voice is actually connecting and hitting those higher notes in my voice. I mean, I'm doing it on a crazy word, no, but it's actually working, and my voice sounds awesome up there. He says, first we have to do this on some crazy exercises. Then you can apply that same feeling to the song. Next, the teacher tells me that while that no is a really, really great exercise at helping me hit higher notes, it isn't really super close to the feeling of actually singing. So he gives me an octave and a half mum, as in mother. Mum, 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 mum. I can feel that the mum is a little bit harder than the no was, but my voice seems to be holding on. And if my voice is breaking, he tells me that I can add a little bit of that sobby mum, 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 mum to get the vocal cords to vibrate better. He tells me that this mum is a great exercise because that uh vowel is almost like a blank template for where the lyrics of a song would go. On an uh, your voice is completely at rest. Uh. And once you find that rested feeling, you can actually add the lyrics back into that same place and your voice will stay relaxed. After a couple of minutes of this, he asked me to sing the song again. But instead of singing the lyrics, can I sing it on a mum? Can I sing the melody of the song on a mum instead? Feeling super embarrassed and kind of silly, I go to sing the chorus of the song, but rather than singing the melody or the lyrics, I just sing the notes, replacing each word with the word mum. Great, he says. Now, just sing the lyrics, but try to put the lyrics in the exact same place, the same feeling as you got with that mum exercise. As soon as I go to sing the lyrics again, I just imagine that I'm still singing that mum exercise, but with the words instead. And that's when it happens. I can hear my voice connect and the words come out clearly, even in those high notes in my voice. Don't come. Mixed voice is the answer if you've ever found yourself pushing or straining in order to get up to higher notes. While it takes time, it is absolutely worth it to be able to hit those higher notes with power and presence whenever you want to. But to actually master the mixed voice, practice these five exercises you can use every day.